Okay, so I'm just doing this video because this is basically the release build of the soft mod. Um, this is a version 1.1 1 .1 Xbox. That's the one in the other video, that's a 1.6. So I'm just basically showing that it functions on varying, ex varying Xboxes. So again, I'll be using Splinter Cell and that's the extras disc that you can download separate that has the microsoft dashboards on it plus you can upgrade old soft mods and you can also restore to factory default i.e. uninstall the soft mod if you just want to go back to stock so i'll turn this on and my saves are on this memory card. Um, you can find tutorials and that how to do that. I'm not going to get into that. But if you've already got a modded Xbox, you can transfer them on that way. If not, there's tutorials and stuff to do it. So anyway, I'll put you on the stand. Right. So don't worry the music. So, as you can see, there's nothing on this hard drive. Now, this is a previous modded system. This is an 80 gig hard drive in it. Um, but it's been wiped clean. Uh, there's nothing in E, nothing in anything. So, let's... Put the memory card in. And I want Splinter Cell, so copy that over. And I want the soft mod save. Copy that over. Right, so I can take the memory card now. Now, put Splinter Cell in, close the drawer, and the game will load up. Now, if you don't know already, there's three games you can use. You can use 007, Agent Under Fire. Uh, you can also use Splinter Cell 1, the original one. Or you can use Mech Assault. But Mech Assault's the hardest one to come by, because it's a specific disc you need. Uh, Splinter Cell you can get quite cheap on eBay, and so uh, 007 as well is cheap on eBay. The most I seen it on eBay was for five pounds, both of them. So anyway, start game Linux checkpoint. And you'll be presented with this screen. As you can see it's a version one point one. So to soft mod your Xbox you select soft mod my Xbox. Okay. Since this is the first time, we have no backup, so we have to select no. And also, when you've backed this up and you've soft modded and you're all set up, I advise you to copy your EEPROM backup onto your PC and keep it safe. You might never need it, but as long as you've got it, you can never go wrong. Right, back up EEPROM, select finish. back at this move, select soft mod my xbox again, pick ok, back up, we've already backed it up so we select yes, yep, and that's it, now we just wait, that's how simple it is, um, there's not really much to it, uh, this soft mod package that I've put together um, from the sources it's not copied anything from anybody um, is basically just to soft mod your Xbox that is it um, I don't give you any file managers or settings or anything while installing the soft mod because there's no need you're there to do one thing and one thing only and that's soft mod the Xbox so it's new user friendly 
if you're wanting something a bit more advanced, then there's other soft mods out there, but they're old. But I don't see why you would. So that's us. Base that's you soft modded. So it tells you we need to take the disc out when it restarts because it'll load Splinter Cell again. Select OK. Eject the disc now. Right, so this is the second screen. What this does is this installs your dashboard into C dashboard. Um, now, read me. If you'd like to install the Microsoft dashboard, you can do now. I'm going to do that. So, the extra disk, which I was telling you about, is an optional download. You stick that in. And it'll load up. So you've got four options on here. You have installed the Microsoft Dash 5960, which was the last dashboard ever released for the Xbox. Install the hacked, my hacked MS Dash 4920. This defaults to the game save directory, so when you load it up, you'll bin your save files. Um, also, I remove all Xbox Live functionality and it's update proof, so even though it's an old Dash, uh, dash update.xp on your games won't update it. Um, so we're just going to install the dashboards. The other two are quite self-explanatory. So I want this one. As you can see it only takes up 65 megabytes. Um, so and I clean the C drive because just in case you had installed the other one I check to make sure and remove the files and stuff like that so it doesn't cause conflicts. Do we want the audio? No, I don't, because there's no need for it. And that's it. When this is finished, it'll tell you eject to eject the disk. Eject the disk, and it'll restart. Like finalize install. And that's your old soft modded. It tells you where your dash is located. Now, just to note, you can move your dashboard to e dashboard. Um, there is a under advanced stuff down the bottom of this menu. It's just about to pop up. You can select the NK patcher settings, and there's a dashboard setting in there where you can go into it and you can change where you want your dashboard to be placed. You can also back up your dashboard. I'll just quickly show you actually. You can back up your dashboard, you can restore your dashboard, you can revert to a default Unleash X. You can, well that's basically like you back up your dashboard, you can move your dash location and you can restore to a default untouched Unleash X. So here we can move the so we want if you say you wanted to move the C drive, you would select move C dashboard. Oh C da uh, the dashboard and C sorry, not the C drive. You'd select that and you would pick. You would read the instructions, it tells you move your dashboard from C dashboard to E dashboard. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. And that's it. Now we go down and select exit. And that's your dashboard now on the E drive. It's that simple. If you want to move it back, get back in there again and move it from you'd want to move the E dashboard to C and so forth. So that's the soft mod from nothing to installed in nine minutes. So I've tried to make it as easy as possible. You can't go wrong. I mean there is only one option. So I'm hoping that people that use it, or the new users that get Xboxes, use it because it's simple, it does its job, and you can't go wrong with it. This soft mod you can't break. And um, if you delete your dashboard, I'll ask you to fix it. If you remove everything, 
like the, all the files from the E drive or the C drive, you can always put a disk to fix it because you can't access the, the soft mod files as, it su as such. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching.